Hello and welcome back to our inventory system series. Uh, previously, we've been working on a hotbar for the bottom of the screen so the player can have quick access items that they can use. In the previous two episodes, we've set up our hotbar and its basic functionality. But in this one, we're going to go through and add the ability to save and load our hotbar content contents based upon what we've assigned to each slot. So let's get started. So welcome back to our hotbar uh, part of the inventory series. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my save file because it's getting corrupted as we're changing loads of things. So I'm just going to go into the Explorer and go back to I get to the project folder, go to saved, save games, and then delete the stuff here. <clears throat> okay, so the issue we're solving now is that when we pick up some items and add it to our hotbar, all well and good. And if I was to drag in another one, it would wipe out the previous one so you don't get any duplicates. But what I want to do now is be able to drag from this one here and onto another slot, which looks fine right now. But if I was to add loads more and have different items, different slots, it would get a bit more confusing. The reason why is because it's not reading the right index value. So let's just demonstrate that. If I go back into the game, pick up all the apples, which is more than 10, which is the greater stack size. Okay, so I've got two slots now. And you see that is now slot is 10. If I drag that in, that's all behaving as it, as it should because that's referring to slot one here. But if I drag 10 here to another one, all well and good. But if I drag two in, and then drag two over here, and you see something weird happens, yeah? So if I drag two over there, it just moves this one around. If I drag this one around, no problem. It's literally having a hard time with this. So what's going on here? The main thing is that on the drag detected for the hotbar slot, because we copied it over from the inventory slot, we've got this content index being used instead. Instead of using that, we want to use the inventory index. This is the one that's reading from the inventory component. So in create DD inventory slot, that's going to go across and send over the actual index that it belongs to. Because otherwise, the index was the content index was defaulting to zero. So therefore, it was always going to get the first item in the slot. But now with that in place, if I go back to my game and now put in my hotbar, 10 there, 2 there, then drag for 10 over to here, 2 over to here, no problem. All works all well and good. So the next thing we need to do is be able to save our hotbar because if, if you notice over the past few, a few parts when I come back into the game, the hotbar is empty again as it restarts being empty every time. So we need to be able to save that information. So if I go into my save file, I'm doing all the saving in. So let me go back and try remember where I put it. Um, save data, player data. Got inventory content being saved here. I also need to save my hotbar status what numbers they're looking at so hotbar um content we'll call it and this is going to be an array of indexes uh so integers is what we want to use i'll save okay so now when i go to save the game i want it to also update and save the hotbar content and what i'm going to do with that is go back to my hot uh, my hotbar self and on the hotbar updated, we're going to call it here. So what I want to do is I'm going to make a custom event or function. Event um, save hotbar. And this will be very similar to what we've done with the inventory stuff. Essentially, what you want to do is you need to get hold of the save data. So I'm going to go get game instance. And from there, we're going to cast to our game instance to get our save file so get save data player data and then from that i can do set um hotbar content now the array of indices is going to be this array and all of their items all their in, in uh, inventory indexes they have so I need to build it and populate this thing here. So before we do all this, I'm going to move this down. We're going to do a for loop, or for each loop. 
color. And I want to go through that array again. So I'm just going to copy this array and go in here. Yeah. And this one going to the cast down here will go and completed. So on the loop body here, we're going to be building up our temporary variable to build up the hotbar content. So I'm going to take out this array element. We're going to get the um, inventory index. And we're going to add it to our array. So for this, we're going to make a new array. Now, for something like this, we don't want the array, the, the, the variable to always be there. This may actually serve better as a local, as a function using local variables. So I'm going to right click on the red box over here for the event and go down to convert event to function. Now I'll squash it all down into a function. Okay, I'll delete that. Go to save hotbar. <clears throat> and now I can make it local variable, keep things a bit tidier. So I'm going to do local hotbar content. And that'd be an integer as a, an array. So now I could drag that out, get, yeah, and I can do add to it. I'm not doing add unique, just add. So add that to there, and then hook in the index into here. And basically it's going to populate this array up. And when it's completed, we're going to set the hotbar content to, from our local hotbar content like this. And then we do a save. So save game to slot. And I can't recall what we saved it as. So give me a second to find what we did with that. Uh, inventory, probably on inventory system. Save game to slot, uh, level data. Where are we going from? Add to inventory. Where are we going? Um, save inventory. That's what we want. Uh, my data. That's what we called it. <coughs> and put it in there. Okay, so it's going to save the game to start every time we update the hotbar. So that will save the data, but we now need to load the data. So we're going to go back to the event graph. And oops, I forgot to actually call save hotbar. So let's call that in our event here. On the hotbar updated. So when it updates the hotbar, it saves the hotbar. But right at the start, we want to load the hotbar. So we're going to have a function here called load hotbar. And this one is going to be very similar to the save hotbar, but rather than fetching the value, we're going to be setting the value. So I'm going to copy the for each loop, put that in here. And then on the array element here, we're going to do set inventory index. And then we're going to call from that one, update hotbar slot. And that'll update its appearance. Now the index is going to come from the array that's part of our save file. So we need to load that from our save file. So if I go into before the for each loop, get game instance cast to Ryan game instance, get the data, save data. And then from that, I'm going to get the, actually I'll just put it to a local variable, uh, local save data. And plug that in there just to make it a little bit tidier. Literally, that's all. And so back on my inventory set here, I just drag out local save data. Get content. Okay, and then from the hotbar content, we're going to drag out from here and do get a copy. And we're going to take the array index into our get there and plug that into our inventory index. We then just need to tell our array element here to update the hotbar slot. And that's on. So now just do load hotbar at the start on the construct event. So on constru construct or pre-construct, we do construct. We'll do load hotbar. And so the only thing we need to do is we need to set the hotbar, just realize, needs to go into rather than setting a value in uh the save here we want to set the value 
because the index is important which one we're saving so we're going to go from there and do oh, got bar. we can do set array element loop body and the item is this in inventory index and the index is this array index so if slot zero has nothing in it it won't just skip it it will add an empty array item but importantly you need to have size to fit turned on okay right so i'm going to clear my save file again so let's go back into there and go back back and back one more saved save games delete content and go back in the game right let's pick up some stuff And there's nothing to replicate with the hotbar or any of its functionality because it's all local to you. It's just a data visualization of your inventory. So I've got 10 and 2. Break that into my second slot. Drag this into my fourth slot. That should save it like that. And then if I escape out and push play. Ah, it doesn't work. Now, the reason why it probably isn't working is that it's probably loading the data too quick. So if I go back to the hotbar, go to the event graph, and load hotbar happens on the p construct i'm going to put in a little delay in here so delay for let's do one second and apologies we should have the save hotbar not before we change it we should do it at the end so we're just going to disconnect that and put it on completed of this for each loop okay compile save now let's go back in and test this out so we can go in and you can see now we've got our 10 and 2 appearing like so. If I drag it into the middle one there and the one there. So we've got blank 10, blank 2. If I quit out, come back in. Blank 10, blank 2. Okay. And if I go into my inventory system, drag out my 10, put it at the end here. And then close it. So we've got blank, blank 10, or blank, blank, blank 10, 2, blank 10. God blimey. There you go. Matches up perfectly. So there you have it. We can now manage our hotbar and use our hotbar freely. Now, in the next part, we're going to make some quick access buttons to access and switch between items and use items in those inventory slots using hotbar hotkeys. So you can watch the next episode right now on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. Thank you so much to all the patrons and YouTube members for the continued support. And make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.